Earth 2020. Society is in ruins, and a virus runs rampant among the world's humble citizens. They are lost. In these dark times, three wayward nerds cross paths at the House of India and realize they are destined to be friends. And so they be. This is their story. The story of the side quest. Both in English and in uh, Japanese. The new songs, because they're written with the intention of having English in them, you can tell it's like, alright, they tried, like to make it work versus all of the old ones besides Bakami Tai lyrics just being okay all of them are kind of ass yeah but Honolulu City Lights is the best song in the fucking franchise that's so good better than well Bakami Tai is a classic and Judgment, Judgment? I'm gonna put Honolulu above Judgment that's a me thing that's crazy it's just it's, it's just it's a really good song that's the thing Like uh, it's like, crazy to me that they haven't given 24 hour Cinderella to anybody that's in also this new one I that that has to just be a Majima thing. Like they're like only Ma, only Majima would like this song type beat. Like there's no one else unless it's like they because they can't give it to any of the female protagonists because it just it would it's like oh yeah that that works like it's it's part it, that would work for one of them. But Majima liking that song is like it just fits him way too well. I think they should just make a Kiryu version and then he can flash back to everyone's idol Goro. Maybe or. Maybe, maybe when we actually get another Majima game, they'll bring it back in. Yeah, Majima Gaiden. We need it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Side Quest Podcast. My name's BJ. I'm Luke. I'm Matt. And we're all down. So yeah. don't expect anything from us, you bastards. Yeah. And thank you guys for listening to <laughs> <laughs> Quickest episode you've Take ever it, seen. sleazy. We don't owe you. <laughs> Lucky you're getting the hello. Yeah, just because we can. Speaking of which, I went to visit my parents Sunday morning, and I was sitting on the couch with my dad. What were we watching? I can't remember, but it was around lunchtime. We were eating chicken Alfredo, and uh, it was some movie that I've seen a billion times. But he was like, so why wasn't Luke on the last episode? And I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, in the last one that I watched, Luke wasn't there. And I was like, you watched the podcast? And I was like, I think it was one of the snow day ones. Was it just me and Matt? And he was like, yeah. Hold on. Matt's got to deal with some, some family. All right, now that he's gone, so Yakuza. <laughs> it's so fucking sad. Even where I'm at, there's like, it, it hasn't gotten super sad yet, but it's still just, there's this over, like, there's this, over the whole game, I'm just constantly thinking, man... I know oh, it's, it's about to get worse. It's <laughs> about to get worse. Yeah, you'll see. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to it. I mean, I am, but I'm also not. Like, I'm. I don't want to. I know, like this. This year alone has like three releases. Like I think we mentioned this, where it's like, like a dragon, infinite wealth, gonna be sad as shit. We're getting Final Fantasy Rebirth, getting to the point where it's gonna get sad as shit. Uh, fucking Persona Three. Spoiler alert. Sad as the shit. The main character dies. Yeah. And like, that's probably gonna happen in Yakuza. <laughs> Fuck me. Did you guys see that interview with Robert Pattinson uh, and um, the uh, oh um, the girl that was in the Batman Catwoman? So yeah. Gets. And the the interviewer and him was like, well, you know, we we cried at the same spot like in a video game, and you can see Zoe Kravitz like, oh, and they, he was like, well, yeah, and what you know, oh, like Final Fantasy VII, and he goes. So he starts to explain the plot and like the love triangle, and then she's like, and then she, uh, what, what's her name? There's Tifa and Aerith. Aerith, and then she dies from Sephiroth, and it's like, yeah, it's crazy, and you know, and uh, Aerith's like, you know, she's a lo- like a healer, and she like, and she's like, oh wow, a woman that's like heals and brings <laughs> everything together, and I was like, you fucking bitch, fuck you, yeah. Robert Pattinson is the king of us all. He also yeah. he also states that Tifa's best girl. Facts. So he he's also just the yeah. He's what got a the legend. Best taste. So yeah, yeah. No, I, I I there's been rumors now that like and people are kind of from the trailers thinking oh you get to dictate some of the story of seven. I'm just like Aerith. 
dying so hard. Yeah. I'm not saving her. Because if it means her or Tifa, Aerith's going six feet under every playthrough. I'll watch those cutscenes later. Speaking of people dying, um, so BJ and I, I, we've been playing some co-op games. Mm -hmm. So we started uh, Revelations 2. Hell yeah. Um, which has been fun. And then while we were waiting for the next episodes to download, we started Gears 5. Have you played Gears 5? Yeah. It's, I mean, I, I think it's the best, the best one. I... Th mm, 3 was really good. I was going to say, well, which is... You're not going to play the other Gears games, are you? No. Which is I mean, one? I played the first one, like, when it came out, and I dropped it. Okay, so. the one where Dom dies is, like, the, the one for me, where I'm just like, this, this, oh, fuck. Like, story and gameplay hitting... <laughs> Together this perfectly. one, if you choose the wrong character oh, no, to like, die, it, it, it is yeah. so fucking sad. Yeah, well, because what it means for other characters, because like the whole point of the new uh, so, trilogy. So what gonna... I told him is that if you haven't played any of the other games, usually people won't play, pick one person because you only get the context of these two characters in a game together. And you're like, well, I don't want him to die because we get to play a lot with him and he's one of the playable characters. And then... So you'll pick him because you're like, oh, because him and the other main character yeah. get really close together. And when you do that, but it doesn't make any sense if you look at the franchise as a whole to pick that guy. Yeah, it's it is very much you gotta pick the other. Yes, because Especially if you do for the rest for the, for the Marcus for <laughs> the other characters for everybody, it makes the, it makes whenever we get it sick, is so fucking sad to see awful. to see the other characters react when you yeah. pick the other guy to die. Because let's be honest, the guy you also play as in the combat, like, he's fine, he's yeah. cool, but like. You know, he dies. You're like, I can get over that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The other guy, yeah. it's devastating. Dude, it, cause it's just the ramifications. Cause especially how important he was in the, in four. I know. Like, and then how important he technically is to the trilogy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So like, if you have, if you haven't played the rest, you're probably going to pick the other guy because yeah. he seems not more important, but you play with him more. Hmm. Anyways. So we've been playing those two. Gate, I, I did like uh, just I like bum rushed all of Gears in like a weekend because they're relatively short. Mm -hmm. But I went through one, two, three, Judgment in like for only like Friday, Saturday, and like all of Sunday I played all four at the time. I did, and then when five, like in preparation when five came out, and yo, they're like solid games. They're really, honestly. they're very good. I, I, they don't get as much love as like the Halo games, and I, I don't know why because I think. Well, I think it's because when Halo came out, that was like revolutionary tech, mm -hmm. and that. That does a lot to cement a legacy, but well, yeah. Gears is like okay, the story's pretty great, but like it's not a technical marvel. Well, yeah, because even then, like Halo's the reason we have like Xbox Live and like lobbies and mm -hmm. all everything. Well, the think. other thing is, I also remember Gears being like because it has chainsaws and you're cutting people in half. It, it was, was definitely the gory. Like, yeah, the like people gory were like, gory. oh, yeah. like it was hard to get your parents to sign off on that one. It's funny because like Halo, right? Halo's like technically rated M. But, like, there's a lot of people, even I think some people at Xbox are like, if it came out nowadays, all of them would be rated T. Yeah. Like, there's really nothing Yeah, because you're just killing them. aliens, the blood isn't even red. Yeah. yeah, like, there's really nothing in them that, like, warrants an M rating, except maybe... The cursing. Reach, will reach having, like, aggressively kind of brutal deaths for some of the, the, the Spartans. Other than that, the rest are, like, just, you know, it's old enough mm -hmm. that, like, you could look at them and be like, mm, just, you know, T rating. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, they, they can kind of get away with it, especially now that you can have, like, an F-bomb and a, one F-bomb and, like, PG-13 stuff now. So it's, like, they could easily get away with a lot of shit. But, like, ha Halo Infinite being, like, no, we're going to brutalize some Spartans and you're going to, like, it's, like, it's more HD so it looks more real. That, fair. But, like, well, I Gears also... just aggressively from the get was just, like, hey, you want to chainsaw that fucking locust in half? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Well, I also really like, it's hard to take a game and then be, like, we're going to make it open world when it hasn't been open world before. Yeah. Um, and I feel like usually you just shouldn't do that. Like stick to linear if that's what it's always been. Um, but I did really like the open world aspect to five. Gears five is one of the better ones that's implemented. Like I, I'm going to be honest. I love Especially when you like I hated the open world of Halo Infinite. Like there's yeah, really nothing for sure. to do. And I would have much preferred the linear. Because like the thing with open world is it, it's, it's, it's like cultivating like, oh, you like can get up. You, I mean, the whole reason is like to, 
to explore. do to explore those you have to make it like worth something it's like oh you can get collectibles or better stuff x y and z well, like look at like skyrim and witcher 3 where it's like everywhere you turn something's there yeah it that's kind of what you want an open world to be like or in the case of breath of the wild where it's like more environmental storytelling but it's like you can go anywhere or like you can find armor or yeah. like like there's well, reasons like with to gears explore. though it's yeah. it's fun because you can like there's like skill trees and like things you can unlock to then get better get better like um you know get skill points and stuff like that and so that made it like worth it and then it'd be fun like you'd go like to a crash landing site and then there's like a droid there that's like freaking out so you have like a mini boss fight just like you know in a cavern um so that's yeah i enjoyed it i really wish naughty dog would make a fully open world game because that opening bit where you get to seattle is ellie and dinah Mm -hmm. and it's just that big open block of the city that you can run around in because if you I, explore all that you get so much ammo and so much craftable shit you get a lot of rewards for I, that I think I would less of a big open world for them I would love how like Metro Exodus did it where it's at the current point of the story your character is here but in this map explore the whole fucking map do whatever you want but then once you leave it you can't come back so it's like go to the next bit for the next story bit mm -hmm. but it's like now you're here this area is like the open area bit like of sonic frontiers or monster hunter or like yeah metro where it's like i think they could really nail that because having a lot of smaller maps you can put a lot of shit in those versus here's this big ass and map there's gonna be a lot of walking yeah. yeah well it keeps it linear in a way that's like okay like we'll give you open world aspects to things but it's manageable but it, yeah it's manageable it, it doesn't have to be fully fleshed out where it's like makes you know because if it's so open world it has to be filled in yeah it can't just be like oh you have like three things in between like two you know both sides of the map so then you look at you look at the like the newer assassin's creed games that feel like they're open world for the sake of being open world and stuff yeah. like at the Ezio trilogy where it's like the reason they're open world is because you can climb everywhere parkour off shit like the point was you can like climb on top and go everywhere versus i don't know here's a horse and you're and like nine times out of ten i would just hit follow road and like just kind of stop playing yeah while character went to the next marker and i'm like i don't give a fuck versus like that or like in skyrim where it's like you could fast or like with places, these but like with the old want... assassin's creed it was like this is the city yeah that the game takes place and you're like okay that makes sense yeah but then so it's that whole yeah. that whole city you can explore parkour around mm -hmm. do whatever and there's collectibles and like some side missions and it's like cool that was the point so when you like assassinated a guy the fun was okay now i gotta book it i have the whole city to like just fun like flashy parkour away mm -hmm. and then that was the, the fun of it and the, yeah. ci the city was the playground that was the level dude speaking of ubisoft have you seen that uh skull and bones looks like absolutely did you see that they called shit? it a quadruple a game that's what, what ubisoft was saying that it was like no this is better than triple a and i is it also I in the strand genre shut the fuck up <laughs> it's <laughs> so like you can't i mean dude people are i mean like i get these complaints i'm not saying are unwarranted but like I, even I, like, before the game, like, released, it's like, I understood the concept. It's just a ship it's, battle. It's like, the pirate but part But people of Black don't Flag. like that they, you can't, like... Get out. You, you can't get out. You can't explore islands. But, like, and I was like, I mean, yeah, that sucks. But, like, you the know, that that doesn't make... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, it's okay that it's not in because I think the game's not going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Sea of like, Thieves already exists. I don't... And it might be coming to PlayStation, too, so, who, like, what's the point of... The, okay, to be fair, the only reason Skull of Bones had to release was apparently uh, they got the, the the government or the country of Singapore to help fund it, so it has to come out. What? This, what? Yeah, so, like, legally it has to come out. Uh, so, like, but then immediately they're what like... What does that mean? <laughs> it means they're making, a, they're making a game and they got, they got the country of Singapore to, to give them money for it, and because of that, it, the game has to release in some form. I bet it was like, hey, if we put some Singapore good propaganda in here probably like will you give us some money probably and then and then immediately after like skull and bones apparently like oh no it's bad hey we're remaking assassin's creed 4 and it's like oh they're gonna take all the assets from skull and bones and 100 it percent it's, it's gonna be an asset flip like yeah. try to recoup our money yeah and they're of course doing it with like arguably the best ac game at least in terms of like reviews and sale wise wait four is black flag yeah Pirate. yeah so they're just gonna take that and then add they're gonna add in the get out of your ship and explore shit with, with with Edward and whatnot, I mean, if it looks better, cool. I just I don't think Black Flag. I'm gonna be honest. Most games from like the 360, especially late 360 and PS4 game, they don't need remakes. Yeah. Like, I, like Black Flag's already on PS4 and 
like Xbox One. I mean, I've been playing. I've, I mean, I haven't recently because Like a Dragon came out, but uh, Arkham Asylum still looks perfect. Have you seen all of the? Speaking of that shit, have you seen like the people how, playing how like how bad Suicide Suicide Squad looks next? That to Arkham, Arkham Knight. Knight. Arkham Knight has yeah. had a Arkham bump Knight that in came out count. 2015. The and, water and looks, looks well. It's phenomenal. Like, Arkham Knight's Arkham. lighting system and textures are some of the best, and no one has been able to fucking beat that. The only thing that looks better in the new game is the face models. That's about it. And I'm talking just strictly face. Mm -hmm. Like the animations are better, all that stuff. But then the character models. The textures, the city, it looks better. I was like, the only thing Suicide Squad has over is the faces look better, and then the particle effects, like explosions and shit, looks better. But like, oh well, you know what I mean. Somehow, even still, I'd rather be stuck in dreary ass Gotham than bright ass Metropolis. Yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck. And no, yeah, you're right. Like the Arkham games just look great. Like all of them. Origins is probably the least like pretty one, but that was that was made like. I mean, even then, I th I think it's. I think it still holds up. Yeah. I mean the the thing with that one is it's all just the the assets and stuff from City. Yeah. I mean, it's the so, same map, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. the same map. They just were like, "Hey, what if it wasn't shit?" Yeah, what if it wasn't <laughs> or if it wasn't City, overrun just, yeah. by criminals. And somehow it still feels empty and dreary. But oh, it's Christmas night. Or what yeah, what was it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah Christmas night. So everybody's at home. And I'm like, I wonder right. what year that canonically takes place in. Uh I I think that cuz it's uh, he's been Batman. Wait, for, the whole game takes place on one night? All of them do. Arkham Asylum, City, and Night, and Origins all take place in one night. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he has some nights where just shit goes down. It also is so funny with how, how, mu how much you can play that game where it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, all this in one night. Yeah, 36 uh, hours of gameplay. And like, it's to, like, to beat City completely, it's like 100 hours. Like, doing all the side quests. It's all the, the Riddler trophies that are really going to fuck you. You know what they, they should yeah. do in a game? Is, like, make a game where it's like, yeah, this has to be done in, in one night. And they give you, like, the whole campaign. And it's, like, a nine-hour thing. Yeah, like thing. a 24-hour timer. Yeah. Or 12 hours. Yeah, really. like, a, yeah. give you a 12-hour timer. And, like, the whole thing is, like, you know you're not going to do it. But it's going to be kind of like a like a Hades dungeon caller. It's like, and you're like not... Well, that was the best part. Granted, Majora's Mask added, like, the Zelda game Majora's Mask added a time travel element. But it was... <laughs> You gotta do this in three days. Yeah. And it was in game time, but like, it was like you have a three day timer. Yeah. And like, that made that game way more stressful because you're constantly being like, fuck, I have to do this. I have to do a dungeon. I have to open up this doorway. I have to make sure to be here at this time. This yeah. one. And you're in it. You had like, it, it got stressful, at least for the first two. And then by the time you did like the third and fourth, you kind of have a rhythm. But like, I actually like your idea of like, yeah, what if you actually went realistic time for yeah. this, where it's like you have 12 hours? to save the world yeah <laughs> do it and like they gave you all this side content but it's like you, know, you got 12 hours figure out what you want to do yeah and like that'd be really cool to like actually put like real stakes so it's like oh you didn't help this guy so because of that somebody died and he comes back on the on the 10th hour uh -huh. it's like you motherfucker i trusted you and whatever yeah. it adds to yeah, yeah that actually like, really cool be, and make but make it hard enough to where it's like they know you're not going to do it like in your first runs like yeah you know you're gonna fail but. Well, there's that one game that's kind of the opposite of that, where it's like, oh, you're this little guy waiting to be released, and there's a, an actual year on the clock. And it's like, yeah, you can, like, explore around and, like, figure out these little secrets, but also you can just wait a year and beat the game that way. <laughs> <clears throat> what was that, like, what, what is it called, that game? I can't remember. It was one of the ones they revealed in a Nintendo Direct, but now it's on, like, Steam and stuff, too. Okay. Yeah, if I if I saw it, I'd be able to tell you. Oh, that's the one. So if I see it today, I'll be like, I I, I love <laughs> I love that we're getting to a point where like, you see all these people complain like, yo, modern gaming fucking sucks. All this all there's no good games, and it's like, no, you're just playing the same shit every year. Yeah, it's like you look at the indie scene. And they're putting out bangers. Or like after play like Baldur's Gate or, or yeah. Armored Core. Yeah, like Baldur's Gate, Armored Facts. Core, like games where it's like they come out get sh up, like. When, dude, we're going back to that. Cause Stop like, replaying Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's like the people who only played Call of Duty, Apex, and then their one like actual game Story, to play was yeah. Spider-Man, and it's like they're people going, dude, what's a Baldur's Gate? Who's Alan Wake? I never played Zelda. That's a kids game. Like all that shit. Where you're like, dude, all like all every every game on the game of the year list, even Spider-Man to an extent, all got minimum eight out of ten. Like they're all great games, but you're like. I only played Spider-Man, so that's the only one that matters. Or like, I like, like, what was the best ongoing game? And some guys were like, "Why isn't Fortnite on here?" Yeah. And I'm like, "You 
Mmm. You fucking assholes. Play other games. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It it bugs me so much. And then like I, I still even even with that say, you see Destiny getting on like best community support and even Destiny fans are going, Fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Why is that on here? <laughs> this was paid for. But like it, it sucks because I love there's so many great games that I played last year and then I'm I'm looking forward to this year and it's like you then see people go like there's nothing coming out. And I'm like, what the fuck do you play? Like re- I wanna know. It's like do you just play COD? And like 2K, is that really all you do? Like you paid five hundred dollars for a plastic box to play like the same game? Yeah, that's I so mean, it, baffling. There, to me. there are people that do that, and it's f- fucking crazy. There are people who can't afford a fucking console who want to play all these games, and you and you wasted your money to play Call of Duty. I mean, as of like this year, I can name like three games that like already are like great, like Pal World. Just play it. Yeah, it's ch- it's cheap. Just play it. Just give it a try. I think at max you're gonna pay thirty bucks for Pal World. Yeah, play Pal World. Uh, Hell Divers Two looks insane I, and I, looks like Joey, so- Joey's been playing it. He said that it's like really fucking fun. I I'm gonna I'm gonna get it uh, if you want to get it. I'll be down to play. I don't know I don't know. If, can, can you play on Steam Deck? I know they have some anti cheat stuff. Uh, it depends on if they enabled the anti cheat to work with Proton. Okay. But if it's if it's easy anti cheat, then there's it's basically just flipping a switch. Okay. So I'll check the store, see what people are saying about I mean, it. It's on Steam though, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. He, okay. so I'm saying he probably could. Well, play if on it's cross platform, then yeah. But uh, and then that like yeah, you know like the uh place. the new Space Marine uh Space Marine two that's coming out looks it's awesome. gonna be amazing game. Like if you just want to like play as that, like that would probably be the best introduction to the Space Marine stuff. Like sure, but if you're like into is, like yeah. I don't know, like these are all different games that are like n- new and different than what you're playing. And even yeah, then, like, like you you want big like expensive like you know genre defining games or whatever, or you've got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming out that looks like they th- just fucking dump trucked a buttload of money on top of it to make mm-hmm. it. You've got Rise of the Ronin that like PlayStation exclusive. You've got later this year Dragon's Dogma we've got confirmation for Hellblade Hellblade's coming out this year Indiana yeah. Jones coming out this year Avowed's coming out this year like there's so many games coming out and it's like people be like there's nothing coming out yeah I don't I don't get it like I, I understand I, I can understand not liking indies because those you kind of have to search for a bit more <laughs> than like your mass marketed AAA game that has a marketing budget but even still with the age of TikTok I find so many indie games just like scrolling where it's like look at this cool game and I'm like oh sick that looks awesome I mean a lot of the time I'll have more fun with an indie game than like a lot of the AAA stuff that comes one of, out one of my favorite games despite me still saying like God of War is my game of the year that year Celeste was still one of the best games that came out that, that entire year it's so fucking good the incredible so platformer so did you ever play like Guacamelee? yeah Guacamelee is really fun the, the second one it's, it's yeah such a good What's the studio that made that game? Because, like, it isn't that Super Giant still? No, it isn't. It's uh, uh Super Giant Bastion. Uh, well, because just one of the highlight of that game is that it's same such devs, a playful game. The same devs who did Nobody Saves the World. It's that they did Guacamelee. I think. Okay. Uh, I don't know. They're what the fuck? I because I played it years ago, um, with a buddy Dylan. Then, um, then after the second one came out, you know, we did this thing where it's like. We just like I went over to his house and spent the night there, and you know we had burritos and Dude, that... and edibles, and we just like stay up till four in the morning, beat the game, and then the next time I came over, we did the same thing with two, and it, they're just so fun. Me so. and Trevor had a similar experience with Shovel Knight. We got so fucking into it. We were really high one night trying to beat uh, Spectre Knight, the mm-hmm. one with the scythe, and we were both just on top of him, like doing the down spike. And we were just bouncing on top of each other over and over again and just screaming at the top of our lungs like, yeah, get him, get him. <laughs> That's another thing. I, I think I've talked to you about this, BJ, and I don't know if I've talked to you about this, Matt, but Shovel Knight really was the kind of push for indies. Where, like That was the biggest game that like was an independent title for, I feel like, a while. Um, be- or what's became, the one like, that had Megalovania? Undertale. Um, well, that came out. Undertale. Uh, Undertale. Was that after or before Shovel Knight? That was after Shovel Knight. Yeah, okay. I was saying, but like Undertale helped for sure. But like, Undertale's a big. I remember seeing one. like a bunch of YouTubers playing Shovel Knight. What's the other one and that's then, um, yeah, yeah, Hollow Knight? Is yeah. that indie? Yeah. Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight is Hollow Knight's fucking. It's hard, but it's so good. Would you consider um, Ori? Uh, the yeah, first one. Would you? I mean, con- the first one definitely is more indie. Well, it, yeah, but it still was that thing where it technically was backed by Xbox in the sense of like they at least kind of helped. 
Uh-huh. They didn't publish it. They let them do the work, but it, it was backed by Xbox. So I guess technically they're not indie games. Came, same with Cuphead. Cuphead wasn't indie until it got backed by Microsoft. I guess Cuphead's phenomenal. Cuphead's oh great. Oh my gosh. Fucking love Cuphead. That is a really good co-op game. Also, aggressively angry co-op game. Yeah. That's yeah. one where you'll be yelling at your friend, like, what the fuck, dude? I was right there. You couldn't come and save me. It's like, I'm sorry. I have like 30,000 bullets coming my way. What do you want me to do? The Netflix Cuphead show, by the way, is really well animated, and it's it's very entertaining. It's very old school cartoon. I like still Looney need Tunes to stuff. Like, I saw the, the first episode, and I was like, this is great, and I never <sighs> went on. It, I mean, it's not like deep or anything, but it's really fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, that's sometimes that's all you need is just, like, uh, you turn a show on, and you're like... What? It's not deep. What the <laughs> hell? What do you mean I'm not going to see the intermachinations of Cuphead's <laughs> mind? You mean I'm not going to get the... Just the answers you're not going to tell universe? me he, how he deals with bullying? <laughs> this is where my parents died. <laughs> Mugman. Finally. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that, that, that? This is where my parents died, Raphael. <laughs> Can you draw them farting? <laughs> Jesus. What? <laughs> I don't know, but I saw... It was a meme on TikTok I saw. Did you did you by the way, uh I think I think I sent it in the group chat. I I was like tired of shit, but did you see that that meme I put in that was Shadow getting the fade? Yeah. <laughs> by Sonic. Also, none of you I mean you've been awake longer than he has. But you did not did you read my text? I, I, I read it as I woke up and so I was still sleepy going. Oh, that's cool. And then I just was like, alright, I need to get a shower. I was listening to a song, and then this, like, vision came to me <laughs> of just pure it role was, play. You just yeah. created an AMV in your head. Yeah. Dude, I did. And, it, dude, the song goes so hard if you picture that happening. There, there's, I've been, I've been, I found, like, a playlist, and I've, and because I've been listening to this playlist, my TikTok, like, TikTok's recommending, or not TikTok, Spotify's been recommending just a bunch of, like, you know all the songs that go on those like super hard TikTok edits? Yeah, like the funk edit. Either funk or just like these like guitar shredding with like 808 beats in the background yeah. and shit like that. I just now have like a shit ton of so Spotify re recommending edits. to me. And, it, and it's like, I'll, I'll go on Spotify and it's like, oh, here's a, here's your release radar. And it's like three three songs from bands and stuff that I actually follow. And the rest are just based on what you're listening to. And it's all these like super underground max 2000 listens like just beats with like like sick ass like edit shit and i'm like this is cool i like this i'm, I'm glad i'm finding these because some of them are fucking insane it's it is really interesting like on spotify rap like going from like two two years ago where it was like mf doom was my top artist and sturgill simpson to i think like this year it was like freddie dread and then like the Alchemist. Yes, oh yeah. no it was the alchemist and then like Freddie Dread and stuff like so this my 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 top, I think my Spotify top artist I don't know if I told you was Sega Sound Team because I <laughs> listened to so much of the Yakuza soundtrack just like off just all my off time my number one played song was Two Dragons hell yeah just cause like that, that shit goes hard I'll it just does. put it on just cause and I'm like this is great it, I guarantee you if they had the version from Judgment the the Kuroa fight the first time where they do the fucking unnecessary like scissor kick mm -hmm. that would be my most played but they don't they just have the final battle version of it and I was like damn but no dude I video game soundtracks are sick as fuck yeah. like I've, I've gotten into them a lot more lately where like that's mostly what I use Spotify for is like oh this game's sick let me find the soundtrack if they have it and like it's fucking so good, dude. Like y Yakuza, Near, Final Fantasy, Devil May Cry. They've got banger soundtracks. They do. And I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of that. Uh, the the Bleach songs that you showed me with like the Spanish guitar. Yeah. Those uh, those songs are pretty. Just pretty the dope. entire that the fact that they were like, all right, so we're gonna deal with this this evil team. What are they called? Well, they're called the Iran Car. Oh, so Spanish. Got it. And he just had an entire soundtrack of that. It's like this is fucking cool. Mm -hmm. No, what what y'all what y'all guys been doing? What's the what's the main just thing? Just been playing Tarkov, dude. Yeah, and is, I think it's that... been short. I think it's been contributing to my the stress. To just yeah, the decline in my life. <laughs> Was well, isn't it one of those games where it's like if if you have a bad bad night with Tarkov, it just like affects you. Cause like you, cause it, you know, cause it's not like a simple. Oh, I lost the match. That's that. It's like you lose in Tarkov. You lose all your shit, right? Everything that you you brought in. Okay. Or, yeah, yeah. or if it's a scav run, it's so with like a, a scav run, you just load in with random stuff, and it's not usually it's not like anything good. Yeah. Um. Usually, 
Um, and so then, yeah, you just go around and you like pick up whatever you can and you try to get out. So you just you're just ratting around. Yeah, and then a PMC, which is a private military contractor. Yeah, you can load in with. We one. know we played Metal Gear. Yeah. Oh, okay, PMC, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you get to load in with like all your the gear you want. It doesn't have to be your best, but it's usually you know like a gun you've kitted out, which you like built and you added the parts to. And gun building is like so much fun. It, it it's that like same aspect of like armored core. You're like I'm gonna pick this and this and then this this and this and then yeah and then you get shot in the head once and you lose it all and you're like fuck. Yeah, that, 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 I think that's the, like, well, besides it not being on console, but even if I get, like, my PC built, I don't know if I want to play Tarkov. That just sounds, like, I'll like it, but I'll hate it. At the, like, it's going to be a game that I, where it's, it's the meme of, like, you know, your girlfriend comes in, why, like, you don't sound like you're having fun with this game. I'm not. Why do you play it? I fucking love this game. Like, <laughs> just that. There is, there is something I just, I enjoy so much about it, and then, like, and that, the, that vibe you have with Tarkov where it's like, oh, it ruins my day. Mm -hmm. That's 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 like me and BJ with Souls games. Where like, you can have an entire day where like, I can't beat this boss. You're angry, you want to throw the controller, whatever. But like, you leave. Or punch yourself in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You leave, and you're always thinking about the boss fight. You're thinking about what I could have done better. You're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back today. It's like if that feels like the same thing with Tarkov, where it's like, all right, fuck, I'm gonna have to go back, build the gun again, do the thing, go back out. So you're now starting to play again. Well, like, I'm actually, again. I'm getting better, and I'm like pretty, like I can, I can handle myself when it's like one v one. But then, uh, so many times people are load, like loading in with another, with a, you know, like a, a two man, a two yeah. man or more. And then, yeah, then the next person just gets me. And I'm like, ah, I had this, oh, I had this clutch. This clutch bit where I was like a scab and I spawned in with like a little submachine gun and like saw a team and I was like, like I could either extract with like the stuff I found or I could try to kill these guys and then get all their sweet loot and then extract. And I was like, I got like only, yeah, I got, you know, it's a free life. It's a scab. It's a scab run. It's okay. Kill one. And then I hear the other guy and I was like, oh, I'm going to rotate around the building and then I like, go to the, around the building and I peek and the guy's running right towards me thinking he's going to like go the other Same way around. Shit. Pop in the head. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Let's go. And then, then the third person in the group kills me and I was like, no, it's going to have such good shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's, that's what I, I know. I know for a fact, like if we all played Tarkov, I feel like you, you would love it. I'd, I'd have that uh, love hate of like, I hate this game. I'm not letting it beat me though. <laughs> Like, it's, it is fun, especially playing with it's it's terrible solo. Yeah, it's, it's really it's not one, fun. It's one of those games that's gonna be more fun with on mic with friends. Yeah, yeah, and you're all just like, all right, like uh, I got six. You know, you just yeah, it's great. Well, it's it's also realistic in the sense of you you can't take like 37 shots. It's like well, sometimes down, right? you can if like if you have like if you're just have crazy armor, oh, yeah. okay. and then like you know the person you're going up against has like just shit ammo. Yeah. Then, okay, yeah, so but it, then, but then, yeah, and then one person gets like a, because then this is how complicated the game is, is like depending on the armor that you have, sometimes the like underarm, like around the armpit armor is like lower oh, or so higher. That, that matters? So yeah, if you shoot somebody from oh, the side shit. and it hits them right here, it's like a one hit kill. Damn. It, with like good ammo or with like not even bad, like just. And like, are, okay. and like headshots are immediate deaths. Is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, helmets do deflect. But if you you know get them right in the face, but then you can get like either um, like face shields, um, so like plexiglass face shields, or um, like glasses that have like light armor protection. You can do all that, you know. Or you like you just get a gun and you just aim for the legs. Just take out their legs. <laughs> Was it you? Were, you were playing Far Cry Six, right? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Am I, am I misremembering that Far Cry 6 had, like, health bars that even if you, like, got a good headshot in, they wouldn't die all the way? Or good headshot still one hit? It depends like, on the gun. Okay, that's that's another thing. Yeah, because okay, I, I remember I'm like, I don't care who you are. I don't care what level system you have or whatever. If I shoot somebody... Oh, yeah, because they do in, have, like, le like yeah. level of, of, like, opponents. Yeah, if I shoot someone... So you go someone, and they're like, oh, you're underleveled for this area. And I was like... Yeah, but if I just shoot everybody in the head, yeah, it like, doesn't matter. Like, if I sh if the bullet goes through brain, they're dead. Don't mm -hmm. tell me that, well, no, their level is... To Fuck you. Well, then dead. they also did yeah. a thing where it's like, oh, if they have a helmet and you don't have, like, armor-piercing rounds, yeah. See, like, again, it'll knock the helmet off, but they'll still be alive. But that that's fine. Like, I'm cool with that. You give a reason. But if they're unarmored, but, oh, they're a higher level than you with a bigger health pool... 
fuck off. I shot him in the head. No, it's but see, the, it was even dumb because it's he's. I I wish it was like. I mean, it's probably just not great coding because it's like I would be looking at somebody and I'd shoot him in the face and then their helmet would fly off. Yeah. <laughs> Or, or because the, it's just like, oh, if they get hit in the head and they have a helmet, it just knocks their helmet. I'm like, I, no! Yeah. I, I, lo- I love the bit, because I remember, that's what I, that was, I was wondering, I was like, was this Far Cry? So we were playing it, and I shot him in the head, and he just went, ugh, what the fuck? And I'm like, I like, I like stared at my screen like, what the fuck do you mean he reacted? He's mm. dead. <laughs> fuck off. And I looked at the health bar. It's like 75% done. I was like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I hate the level. But on the other hand, you can do that in Fallout New Vegas. Well, follow, like the thing is, once you get a sniper rifle, like f- like a sniper rifle, you're already high level. Like they put that further down, where it's like by the time you actually find one with good ammo, because you have to level that up too, because you can't. They use the like ling of like all oh, your aim shit, because it is when you're like starting out, because that fucking sway mm-hmm. is fucked. But like when you when when you're when you're high enough level and like, because by that point you are like your guns will do damage. Headshots will kill. Mm-hmm. It's just because that's the crit, and then through vats. Anytime I'm using a sniper rifle, if I just go to vats and headshots. Have they ever had always. a bow and arrow in, in Fallout? In Fallout games, no. or like a crossbow? Well, modded definitely. I don't know about mm-hmm. base I, game. I don't know base game. Yeah, I don't think they've had a crossbow. At least not in not three onward. Yeah, they're probably in one and two. Yeah, one and two probably have something like that, but I can't. I don't think there's ever been a bow past them. I know, I know, well, obviously they did it in Skyrim and Oblivion and shit, but uh, I don't think they added that to Skyrim, or to Fallout. That'd actually be kind of cool, to like make a little bow, have that be your kind of thing. Because yeah, that makes so that's... much sense to be in Fallout, it's like, like you can get, you like, you can get an energy weapon, but like, a, a random yeah, raider can, doesn't like, have a bow. you touch it to your arrows, you craft different arrows. Well, yeah, it's like, yeah, like a, you know, a raider has a, a laser weapon, but but he doesn't have like yeah, a like, little crossbow. Like, like, I, it's it's funny that like in in Fallout world, it's like the idea of a bow and arrow. So like that's archaic. Fuck that. Yeah. E- even the fucking uh in in New Vegas, that like the tribal people you go to meet in the DLC, they have spears. They throw spears at you. Yeah, and you, then, there's and, throwing spears, but yeah, there's no bow. But no bow. But then they they throw spears, and the other ones just have guns. And I'm Especially like, since it's like a Bethesda game, it's like you know bows and crossbows. Like yeah. aggressively, they know bow and arrow. Like yeah. that's like the best way to play those games. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Especially in four, when you could like craft different ammo types and make like pipe pistols and shit. You would assume yeah. a bow it. would be like early on, like a good weapon to get. Dude, speaking of all like cool crossbow, like the um, Half Life crossbow would be like the perfect thing to have in Fallout with the heated rebar and. Oh. I I honestly I I want them. I know it's there. It's remade, and I think it's Steam Deck ready. That Black Mesa, uh, which is a fan remake of Half Life One, that was officially sanctioned by Valve, where they helped him develop it. I want them to do that for two. Give us yeah. like full like fan remakes of both of them, because apparently there's a rumored Half Life project in the works. It's not gonna be three, but. There's a rumored half. Gary's thing. mod needs a new engine. Come on, <laughs> Gary's mod too, dude. I would not be that shocked. That would break the internet, dude. Yeah. Gmod was like the go-to. It was the thing best thing like, yeah. of all time. Like I, you go from Minecraft, and then you're like, and then you discover Gary's mod, and you're like, oh, it's, and then you just load in like everything. Yeah, you just look up bombs. <laughs> In the uh, in the workshop, and, you're and like yes. The, the fact that you could just kind of import whatever the fuck you wanted to was like so much yeah. fun. People would make like machines, like full on machines. Dude, did you see? Speaking of like people making machines in game, that people made in Minecraft a computer that ran Doom. <laughs> Uh, I think I heard something about them making the computer. I didn't hear about the Doom part though. Yes. Of course it does. And so then yeah, they Doom built a, a virtual controller in game, so you like they had to like step on the the controls, and it was like the frame rate was abysmal. It yeah. was like it took like I think like thirty minutes to load, like to play like a, a a second of the game. Did you hear that they can run Doom on gut bacteria now? Yes. And crabs. Well, they can display. The, yeah, they can display the images. Um, on gut bacteria, which is fucking wild. Yeah, I love I love that we're we're getting to the point where like scientists are also just gamers. Or, well, like, it's like everything's just in in the perspective yeah. of can it run Doom? Yeah, <laughs> I lo- I love for a while there it was like once- can it run Doom on your watch? <laughs> it, 
it I was, saw they did it with a pregnancy test. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. Because it had, like, yeah, a screen. They're like, I think I could fit Doom on there. That's there there's, there's, for sure, there's for sure there's Doom. pixels here. There's for sure Doom on one of those TI-80 whatever count. Like, oh, yeah. Dude, those things are I, monster. I remember computers. back in the day, you used to have to run updates so you could get Pokemon on them. Yeah, you could you could play Tetris. You could play all sorts of games. Snake was, there was like, an there easy was, one. There was a Smash Bros, like, clone thing on there. Oh where my God. you couldn't there, there wasn't physically distinguished character models but there was a character select that hey this is the character you're playing as even though it was like a very like stick figure thing it was their move set i remember like in our school when it was like when one person was like started to like or it came out on the internet like oh here's like you can play games on this and you know youtube tutorials would come up and then like people started playing it and then the it was like months until the teachers like like learned about it and yeah then caught like, on and then everything gets banned yeah a hundred percent also like the year i went to high school they uh they were like all right all because i i went to a private high school and and so there's dress like a uniform and stuff like that and the year i was i came in they were like uh girls hat can't like if you wear skirts you have to wear leggings too and they're like their reasoning was because there's this one hallway that had like that like you could see the steps underneath <laughs> and i was like and everyone was like, no, like none of like the boys are like, like it's like an open hallway, and they're like, it's clearly because like a teacher, like there's a yeah. perverted teacher that's like, takes his coffee breaks in there. Yeah, yeah, like it was never, like it didn't cross any of our minds that that would like, be no, like. None of the students were sitting there being like, oh my fucking. Gosh. Yeah, yeah. It was never that, and it was like, it was always like a teacher Some with eighty year old man that's just like. Yeah, a hundred percent. It was a teacher. With, it was a teacher with his sunglasses on, with his coffee. Be like, hey, don't run in the halls. Well, it was just a so because it's like so interesting how like the adults would like come up with things to like c- create problems. Yeah, yeah. It, well, like especially it, it, with like school rules or something. Well, it's like funny because it's like these are problems that they thought of that they're like, oh well, this is clearly the student because they, they didn't think. <laughs> yeah, highly because it's of like students. their their mind is fucked up and they yeah. project That's that onto saying. the students. Yeah. They're like, because they're like, well, if I'm thinking of it, they're thinking of something ten times worse. A hundred percent. And it's like half of the time, it's the like cafeteria respect- doesn't sell apples anymore because people are smoking weed out of them. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, you fu- like, and then the potheads are going, you could fucking do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah they're like, what? <laughs> now people are bringing apples. Yeah. <laughs> they're bringing apples to school. Be like, I don't, are you gonna eat that apple? Yeah. Do you re- do you remember the the switch when Michelle Obama changed everything in the cafeteria? Yeah. Sadly. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like dude and it's like y'all need to eat healthier and i'm like I'm sure we do but schools aren't gonna pay for all this healthy shit because even even the healthy shit they gave us was like the most abysmal like what the fuck is that uh-huh. yeah here's some green yeah <laughs> and you're looking at going is that healthy or is that a moldy chicken sandwich that's what i want to know yeah hey dude it fucking sucked got rid of desserts at our school and everybody fucking had a like riot it was just like, what do you mean i uh, that's one reason why i loved independence because they had the line where it was like all right here's the school sanctioned like we got to do this food and then the other line was like hot wings and bosco sticks <laughs> and like cake and cookies <laughs> that line was fucking yeah out the goddamn door every day i i stopped putting money in my lunch account because i was like i'm just gonna bring cash and buy hot wings every day yeah yeah like it was it was like I think they did that after I left, though, right? Because I think when I was there, I was there. My it was. I, it was, I think it was my latter two years yeah, where it, that really took off. Because it, it was there was a point where it was like you can get like eight cookies for a dollar. Because there was a point where that was because they were starting to do the healthy shit. Because I just didn't eat lunch at Independence. I would not. I would go to the lunchroom and whatever, but I just fuck it. I don't want to eat lunch. I don't want to eat Michelle Obama's grass food. So it's like I'm good. And they, I, I heard there was rumblings of we're gonna do that, and then then I left, and so yeah, it was tight. That's f- ice cream. They had like a big ice cream machine that you could like, you know, get the SpongeBob ice cream out of, <gasps> or like the the strawberry shortcake, or like the Push Pops. Yeah, Push the, Pops, uh, Flintstone, one. Flintstone Push Pops. Those that's like one of the best flavors of anything. 100%. Hell yeah, Rocket Pops. Rocket Pops are fire. Mm-hmm. Popsicles are just good. Mm-hmm. I there's something about eat because even in like winter time, I'll still eat ice cream or so whatever. There's something so like. It just it fills you with a good serotonin. Like have some, you ha, have you ever had those uh, cherry limeade popsicles? No, but that sounds like it would be good. They're sounds my new favorite fire. popsicles. Uh, like when, when the summer comes around, you can get like a thirty pack from Dollar General for like seven dollars. I've always been a big fan of uh, 
I mean, I don't know what the fuck people call them. There's like 18 different names for them. But it's just a plastic sleeve with the juice inside that you freeze. Yes. And you buy like a big fucking fish barrel it's of like them at the, the supermarket. Not, uh, what's the Minute Made? The Minute Made thing where it's like half alcohol or whatever? Is no, but, or no? no, but it's it's the same thing where it's, it's like a tube that like is folded in half and then you squeeze it out of. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It, it, and it's just like cool like or something the, and in there. And it's the milk carton like style paper, the wax paper kind of. Oh, no. Well, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the ones that are plastic sleeves that when you par- try to put your mouth on, it's going to cut oh, the Like shape. Otter Pops? Yeah, Otter Pops. Like, yeah. yeah, just the clear plastic and whatever color. Oh, flavor. yes. Yeah, Otter you, Pops you, are great. You turn cut. your mouth into the Joker. I'm doing like the Minute Maid where it was like grape or strawberry and it was made of the same material that like milk cartons, like the. I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're like folded in half. And then what you... was the thing you bought in this last summer that was that was that, but it was alcoholic. Those are great. Yeah, it was literally what you're talking about, but it had alcohol. The Otter Pops, in. yeah, yeah. And the it margarita was, ones. Yeah, and it's, I was just like, damn, they're really spiking everything that these days. When I was a kid, we had uh, popsicle. Molds. And they were like eight percent too. God, it's shockingly yeah. like. Yeah. Well, it makes sense because if it's they have lot. something that little, and it'd be like four and a half. But you're, you're, you're but like, it's summertime. You're gonna have like seven of those bitches mm-hmm. because it's like, yo, it's hot out here, and these are cold as shit. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna get drunk on those. We had a little uh, popsicle mold that had like four little things that you like pour liquid into, and yeah. then you put the thing on top and freeze it. My mom would make Kool Aid like when we were in the pool, uh-huh. and like give us one of those. That shit was great too. Yeah. I like Kool-Aid. You know, a nice cold like glass of lemonade or like anything in summertime just fucking. I remember hits. when I discovered like the cocktail uh, Palomas, and it was for like a week. I like kept on getting off work early because there wasn't like a lot of work that week, and I would just go home and just drink like three Palomas on the porch, and I would be like, "Oh my gosh, it's like twelve o'clock," and I'm, <laughs> and I'm like fucked up, and uh, but I was like, "But it's just like such a vibe to like." Have this refreshing cocktail on the porch while it's, you know, 102 outside. There, yep. There is something so, like, peaceful, I feel like, about getting a little buzz, a little fucked up by yourself, just at home, but it's like a nice cold drink, and you're just like, this is nice. Like, yeah, you're, you're not you're not trying to get rowdy, you're not trying to do whatever, you're just like... Yeah, if you stay on, like, the side, the like, the side that's not like, oh, I'm sad, alone, and drunk, no, so it was then, like, yeah, like It's then like then a it's refreshing, yeah. you're just like, this is nice. I had, a, I had a day like that once, before I moved in here. But uh, it, I went and I picked up a box of Twisted Teas, and it was the one time that I worked an overnight shift at the hotel. And then I was like, well, it's it's Tuesday. Like, maybe I can just go ahead and head over to Matt's. So I, I came over here, and you were still asleep. And I just sat on the porch, and I drank that whole box of Twisted Teas, and I had a tower going to the cans. And then Matt wakes up, and he walks by, and he's like, he comes outside and I'm like, what's up, dude? <laughs> it's like 9 a.m. I'm pissed drunk. <laughs> but you were so happy. You were like, and, I, it, and it made me, it like, it was really nice because it made me feel like you were like, you were comfortable here. And it, it was like, and I could, yeah, I could <laughs> tell that you were just like vibing. I was like, hell yeah. Like, I love that you, you're, you just you're, come here Your vibe. home has that aura of just like, you're welcome here, man. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. glad. That's all I care and about. I felt so welcome that I moved in. <laughs> <laughs> I felt a little too welcome that I was like, it's mine now. I'm, yeah. I'm part of this. <laughs> I have the captain now. That's right. I am I'm, can't wait. For, I know it's probably a, a ways off, but like for another just party. Yeah, we had a fun time at the Super Bowl. Did you, uh, for the did most you watch part. it? I was working and just checking scores. Yeah. I, I, the Nickelodeon thing. I, I'm so sad we didn't start just watch that the whole time because I've seen so many clips that were hysterical. Yeah. We're going to have to do that next year, I think. Yeah. But uh, the Nickelodeon one had Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles CGI'd into the stands. And really? they would, like, commentate every now and again. Speaking I, of which, did you see the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer? I fucking did. Yeah. You see the full trailer? Because that's the thing. The, the one yes. on, yeah, because yeah. the, the Super Bowl one was like, it's online. Yeah. And it's full rated R. He straight up yells, holy fuck. Yeah. And I'm like, let's go. It's amazing. Dude, I it now, it now means that I have to go watch Loki season two. Yeah. I, Why? Because the, the TV, it's, it's connected. Yeah, but... You, well, to be fair, Loki, they all say, is the best thing they've done, like, in terms of the TV shows. Uh, so I'll, I mean, I'll, that makes sense. Season one was pretty great. I was say, I loved season one. I just I, I just had no desire to watch anything Marvel. That's why I was like, I'll watch season two when it's finished. And now that it's apparently clearly connected to Deadpool, I'm like, oh, I'll fucking watch it. Yeah. So... I'm I'm just interested because I saw a, a, a interview that I don't think Hugh Jackman meant to say this, but they he straight up said, "Oh yeah, the Wolverine you see is before Logan." 
And I was like, okay, so it's not a multiverse variant thing. It's just this is that Wolverine. Yeah. So he's going to be put back into his spot later, maybe. So this is post the Wolverine. Yeah, post the Wolverine, post X-Men Days of Future Past. So the the alternate ending, they brought it back and they made it matter. Yeah. Wait, which alternate ending? Where the one where the he opens suit. the case and he gets the the original suit. From what movie? From the, the Wolverine. The Wolverine. The one, with the the one where he goes to Japan. That we talked about. Yeah, but, so the all, the the like post credit scene which got cut was supposed to be uh, Kimiko gives him the the case. He opens it and it's his yellow suit. Oh, and they're I, and they're I, using. I don't it. think I've ever seen that. It, well, I, I, it's we a used to scour scene, DVDs yeah. for deleted content when I was a kid, so that's the only reason I know about it. it it's on YouTube. You can probably find it, but it's yeah. It was the thing where like, oh, he's gonna get his yellow suit, and he didn't get his yellow suit in the Days of Future Past movie, which is what that was next. But it seems this is gonna be where he gets. It. He's also gonna be uh, patches. Which is apparently a comic that came out in like 2019, 2020. What do you mean patches? It's it's an alter ego Wolverine had where he wears like a James Bond suit, has an eye patch, and just goes about doing shit in Wolverine like shit. yeah, well like secret agent Wolverine oh. shit. As the thing is, yeah, it's like he's like playing poker, he's doing all this stuff, and so they're having him show up there because there was that one scene where it's the dude sitting in the white suit on the poker table. That's Wolverine, codename oh. Jolverine. <laughs> no, his only name is just Patches. <laughs> Or Patch, I'm sorry, they just call him Patch. Because he has an eye patch and because he won't tell people his name. And they're like, alright, I'll call you Patch. He goes, okay, yeah, that's my name. Yo, yes. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Brogan. Brogan. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> co code name Jolverine. <laughs> what's, another, what's, what's another, like, weird, weirdly aggressive, like, Rat looking animal that's the, he just goes, it's like, what, what's your code name? Weasel. Uh, uh, <laughs> ferret. Weasel. <laughs> I am the weasel. Weasel. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm so the excited angry for beaver. <laughs> I'm so excited for that movie though. I'm glad that it's also just like hella R rated because I know, uh, at least this was like a couple years ago. But Kevin Feige was like, no, this is gonna be the Marvel Studios' first rated R movie because I know Echo technically is their first TV mature thing, but this will be their first rated R movie. And the fact that it's just canon to the MCU, I'm like, it's cool. I want to watch more of that Tokyo Vice show that we started because uh, it's very interesting to me. It was it was, it, it, it was really so, but we were really drunk and we just wanted action. And yeah. which is weird because we switched to Mean Girls. <laughs> That's action, <laughs> which was mean? which was fun. Yeah, I I really enjoy time. Mean Girls. Mean Girls is a perfect drunk movie. But Tokyo Vice is the guy from Baby Driver, like trying to work as a reporter in Tokyo, and he's constantly dealing with Yakuza. <laughs> nice. I, I mean, mean I, I'm sure it could be good. I just. I mean, like, here's the thing: is like go in expecting a, a, an else. actual good TV show. Like, really needs to hook you in, and even if it's slow, it needs to like put breadcrumbs of like of stuff yeah, that you're intrigue like. Oh, that's like, oh, yeah. this could evolve. Oh yeah, but that, like, that first episode there was not, is none of that. A it's, lot of him it's just like, so benign. I was gonna yeah. say, I mean, technically, Breaking Bad is a slow start, kind of in the in the grand scheme of things. Like, when you look at the best moments of, but Breaking even Bad, in like the first episode, they're like he has cancer. Well, as I was saying, but like. It, like you look like when you go back and look at like some of the best moments of Breaking Bad, it's these like heightened moments of like character things and <laughs> like really cool action, like Gus's death, insane. But like you look at just Breaking Bad as like the start, it's like the teacher gets cancer and he's gonna start cooking meth to to support his family. And then yeah, you my go top to the three Breaking Bad moments are number one, Jesse bitch. Pinkman plays House of the Dead. <laughs> number two, Jesse Pinkman plays Sonic O Six. <laughs> And number three, Jesse Pinkman plays Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. <laughs> I think Jesse Pinkman's one of my favorite characters, like in in like TV shows. Like I think just his arc, bitch. Like from but to to the end, especially then watching El Camino at the end. Eh. Yeah, El Camino was really good. I, it was funny because I remember seeing the trailers for El Camino and be like, I don't really need this. Like I think Breaking Bad had a perfect ending, but then seeing it. And by the end of it, I'm like, I'm yeah, glad. Yeah, they, they tied this, a bow yeah. on Jesse. I was like, I'm glad good. this exists. Like, it, it feels good because, like, I think Breaking Bad is the perfect, like, we're going to make a quote-unquote universe out of it. But it's like, we're just, we're only going to do, like, three things. Yeah. The show, the epilogue, and the prequel. And that and they done. Like, Better Call Saul, when, I think it's over now. It is. Yeah, they're done. Like, I know I know there's teasings going around of, like, we might do this, we might do that. But, like, everyone who... But you forgot about the animated show Slippin' Jimmy. Oh, that's part of it? That Yeah, that exists. Yeah. Well, okay, I didn't know it existed, and I don't think anybody else told me it existed, so no. It's but awful. Like, don't watch it. But, like, the idea that, like, they just kind of have, like, here's Better Call Saul. It's before Breaking Bad. 
Now here's Breaking Bad. Here's El Camino. That's it's it's like a perfect. If they thing. were to do one more thing, I would want it to be just about Mike before he comes to New Mexico, because Mike is the best character, obviously. I want to do another Breaking Bad rewatch. The the cop. Yeah, yeah. The, the ex cop, uh, the bald old man. Yeah, uh, who's his brother in law? No, that's um, what's his name? Hank. Yes. Uh, so Mike is I'm, I, Mike is the old guy that Saul calls oh, in yes, to yes, help yeah, him yeah. clean up Chris yeah, Murder's yeah. body. Yeah, and he's yeah, 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 yeah. Why has that man not been a voice actor all this time? He has such an impeccable voice. He does have a good voice. Do you see speaking of voice actor? See the guy who said Peggy eighteen or Peggy whatever got paid two hundred bucks for it, and Damn. that's it. And they've been <laughs> using that for the last every fucking game. Peggy 18, and it's like every fucking just rated him title. I mean, I'm sure that the EA guy was EA paid. EA Sports. His, yeah. Do you think he was paid like a lump sum, or do you think he gets royalties? He I would definitely. Have, I would have. I would have begged for royalties. I would that, make sure. That like, was like 25, 30 years I doubt, ago. I doubt. I, I bet they know to be like, if this is going to be the intro to our thing, we need to just pay him lump sum. Yeah, they 100%. have to. Yeah, they probably didn't offer But royalties. I think that guy does cameo now, and he makes fucking bank. <laughs> well, yeah, because you get the guy to say anything in that voice. It's the same thing with uh, the the Halo uh, arena announcer, where like he'll say shit like in that like like kill streak. Christopher Mintz Plus should do that. Uh, it's pretty sad though. Like people go to like I feel like a lot of people or celebrities go to die on cameo because then yeah. they're just there and they then they just say whatever people want and then they just they become the world's bitch. Did you see the the? They they talked about it I think on TMG but uh, what was his name the 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 fucking uh, Sugar Ray dude breaking up with the uh... oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember seeing that oh clip. that you could tell in the middle of it he regretted doing that cameo I used to love it when um, Cold Ones would do uh, the Gilbert Gottfried ones because Gilbert Gottfried would say literally anything you told him to. Uh -huh. And they they would always just put the most depraved shit, and he would always read it out at the yeah. end of their episodes. So good. That's the thing is, I agree. Well, like recently, like, um, so I saw a podcast where Steve-O got poopies because poopies is on uh, cameo, and he would get him to say like horrendously, like horrendous stuff, like like. <laughs> I mean, I, I might have to blurt some of this out on podcast, but they're like. <laughs> Hey, we need, hey, like my girlfriend just got pregnant. I need you to convince her to get an abortion. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, don't keep the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and they like, no, they, don't so do they it. They created like six different accounts to ha to have poopies do like six different things. Six crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, it was. I love that. I, I, and then, like, there was one part because before Steve O used to be on it, but then he got like a bad review, and he he got so angry from it that he just stopped doing it. And it turns out that it was just Johnny Knoxville that was like, <laughs> that was like mm, t two out of five stars. Didn't say exactly what I wanted him to. <laughs> he was like, "Fuck this guy! I'm never doing cameo again." That's that's so on brand. But it was like them. a year later that Johnny was like, "Yeah, that was me." <laughs> He let him. Bit. I love that they'll let that stew. They'll yeah. just be like, I'll, "I'll let him know one day." And they probably forgot for so long. And then he's like, "Yeah," until going, it like organically comes up in conversation one day, and then he just remembers, like, "Oh shit, that was me." <laughs> yeah, I love that shit. Well, that was like one of my favorite pranks I ever did on Kevin was we would hide this egg. We just well, there was this egg because he's always cooking with eggs, and there's this egg in the fridge that like was in like the butter little you know like in fridges how they have that like in the door yeah, the butter thing yeah the butter thing and the butter penthouse he just had an egg there and like we just didn't get rid of it and i was like dude like you need to throw away that egg and he's like it's fine it's in the refrigerator and also every fucking banana you ever bought and didn't eat yeah that's true and so then he like we drew like a smiley face on it in sharpie and we just kept it in the fridge because it didn't stink it just we we're like but we're not going to use it and then one day it like moved out of the refrigerator where it was hidden somewhere in the house like not super hidden but just like it was just yeah, outside. It moved yeah it was outside of the refrigerator and then i was like i'm gonna put it in his shower because he would have like in his shower there was just a bunch of like empty or like barely any shampoo yeah bottles there and i just put it right behind and it was there for like months dude is there for my, and then one day, like we're just doing stuff, and I hear him like, "Oh shit, oh oh shit!" And he like 
you know, I hear like, and then just comes out of it. And he's like, dude, what the, I was like, dude, what happened? He's like, dude, uh, all of a sudden, a bunch of bugs just like, 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 oh, like shit. unleashed out of the shower. And I was like, what? And, and then he like, we like went back in and it was the egg. And I was like, dude, that's been in there for like three months. <laughs> Holy shit. And it, it just unleashed bugs upon him. They were just, uh, you know, like that's one, a really one, funny prank. Yeah. One bug got in that egg and just hatched its own uh, egg, and they're uh, like, uh, and all Kevin jostled it just the right way. Where it's like, fuck it, get out. Yeah, holy the shit. The shell was just so brittle at that point that it just the slightest well, because bit because it, it was like just always getting like just warm, warmed by warm, warm by shower. the shower. Yeah. Probably got a little yeah. wet every day too. Yeah, like oh that oh, that's so Disgusting. fucking gross. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. But, yeah, but it was like intact, so I guess it just wasn't stinking. Or maybe it was just like ah, it's just you know classic bathroom stank. Like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever say rotten egg is classic bathroom stank. I don't know. That's I don't know. I mean, we I, had, I would think we had a sulfur leak. Yeah. <laughs> or like because I it wasn't. Yeah, like I would. I, I, I mean, I would have remembered if there was like rotten egg smell coming up from his bathroom because I'd have fair, to pass yeah. his bathroom to get to our bedroom, and I never thought that. I never, never smelt that. I guess yeah, because yeah, I, I would. I'm with BJ. I would, it, yeah, I would, if you start stinking up. up the whole house, I'd be like, oh, we have to get rid of this. I I would have been like. Is there like a soul? Like yeah, I would have been like, yo, something's wrong. Like I'm smelling eggs in this fucking bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> like I would like if yeah, I guess it it, it wasn't smelling then because I would have I would have been like, hey, yo, dog, why does it smell like rotten egg in there? Like did some leak? Is there like pipes busted? Like I need to know because this is fucking rank. <laughs> Another really good and this is like a dumb, really dumb uh, prank, but I I got so much joy out of it. it. Was one time Jake spent the night at our place and he fell asleep on the couch and he he was laying on his stomach. And on the back of his calves, um, uh, on down one calf, we wrote fart. And then on the other one, we wrote jazz. Um, I don't know why, because it just was, said jazz farts. And Jake, for like three days after, had jazz farts. Had jazz farts. And then he was like, finally, he was at, because he was like, at the time, he was working out at the gym. And then like a week later, he was like, I've had jazz farts. <laughs> <laughs> On my back, and I've been working out at. <laughs> and it wasn't small. It was like, like we were like, like, yeah, like, like down, like right the, here, yeah, calf. Oh, down the whole back of his calf. I feel like you'd see that in the shower when you're going to like to, you know what I mean? Yeah, but how often do you see the back of your own calf? It's true. I when when I like go to scrub, like I just. I mean, right now there, I would have I mean? seen it, but it was long, and I just think like, I just was like, it was just one of my favorite things. It was so subtle because people would be like, jazz farts. There, people are probably thinking like. Damn, he lost a bet, huh? Uh -huh. Like, <laughs> I, or I would just like on the back of Tyler's, I'd write something very profane, like in the dust and <laughs> on the windshield. Jesus, that's always a good one because you're yeah. like, you're always just like, damn, because they're not gonna notice it unless they yeah. like get out of their car and look at it. Yeah, because even then you'll see something in the window. You're like, what? And you you'll either forget. Yeah. And not look when you get out, or you'll. Well, that it. that would be a big problem for me because I always walk around the front of my car to get into it. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Hell yeah, dude. <sighs> this is this is nice. This actually kind of helped at least me out for some of my because I've just been overworked the past like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is a nice little little relaxing. Just let's just chill. So, Hell yeah. I'm I'm glad we I'm glad we do this. I might just take tomorrow off. Do it, brother. If I wasn't the only shift lead on the schedule tomorrow, I'd do the same. <laughs> you work tomorrow? Yeah. I might be able to dip out early though. Nobody's really staying at the hotel. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's it, Day! Oh is yeah, it really fuck, tomorrow. Yeah, happy Valentine's yeah. Day. We really got to go to the store, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna get that. Uh, the, did you see the the Xbox podcast they're gonna do on Thursday? No. Yeah, so the, apparently to Phil Spencer came out and was like, we're going to do like a, some next week or whatever last week. And it was announced there's going to be just a full podcast with Phil Spencer, Sarah Bond, and whoever else. Where they're going to sit podcast. down and uh, <laughs> and like talk about everything. We're the last podcast you'll ever need. Yeah, you don't, you'll, don't even listen to their podcast. <coughs> uh -huh. We'll just tell you what they said. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, they're just. I'm, I'm assuming what it's just going to be is like an hour plus long thing of them explaining the future of Xbox of what it's going to be of like, well, this is where games are going and this is the plan. And this is the thing. They could have just asked and done it on our show, but okay. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Backstabbers. Come on now, Phil Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> After everything we did for you, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> well, I'm ready just to 
relax. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, we'll have grilled chicken again. Surprise. I love the grilled chicken. Big shout out to the sponsor Dubby. Uh, go to w.gg. Get some jitterless energy. That's right. Some of the best jitterless energy you would say. Mm-hmm. Got some great flavors. Uh, I've I've the the beaches and cream bit is to kind of become my favorite one. Yeah, that one's or good. Beach and peach. Yeah. Or no. Yeah. Beach and peach. Beach yeah. and peach is good. The Dragonade. Uh, I I bought a new one of. It's still pretty good. Nice. You, we have your other W cup here. The other one? Oh yeah, I left it. Yeah. Again. Well, I have two. I've got, I've got the new one. That's right. And then I've got the beast trigger one still. I, which that I found. It's all mangled and busted, but it, I found it. Where was it? Uh, it was in the back of Coupon my car. Coupon code take it sleazy, W.gg. And as always, take a sleazy. <laughs> <laughs>